Hello peeps, welcome back to Dutch Modeling with a, uh, another inbox review. This time it's the uh, Miniart T55, uh, 54, sorry, B, Soviet medium tank, early production. Uh, it's kit number 37091. And I really want to thank Miniart for providing me with this review sample. This is a kit which has a total of 200. 801 parts of which are 674 plastic 19 clear and 108 P parts <laughs> I hate the P. and a sheet for deco sheet for four options the box art I like is very striking here on the side you got uh, Ukraine Russian English telling what it is a little write up the box art on the side Cup multiple camo schemes and decal options on this side. More box out there, nothing on the back. It's a big box and it's heavy. So let's open it. Oh, it's upside down. And now let's open it and let's see what's inside. So there's a, the booklet with the camo schemes. And I already checked and I, I really gonna start with this because I think this is. This is genius. This is a little envelope. As you can see. And in this little envelope is the PE sheet. I have not seen a company do something like this. And this is a sturdy envelope. I think this is brilliant. So put it back in. And it's completely safe. It's, it's really, it, it's so simple, it's so brilliant. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this aside. Let's start with the instructions first, as normal. So, T55B, early production, T54B, so I don't know why I'm gonna do this. Uh, 37019, general instructions. Starts with a Colored call out, colored color call out, and underneath here are the colors. It's Faleo, Humbro, Mr. Color, Testers, Ammo, Mig, and then the color name in English and either Ukrainian or Russian. I don't know. I don't see the difference. Sorry, I don't. Here are the colors, as they are. All the numbers. So choose which one you want. The uh, Sprue, overview, they are numbered, decals and everything. Sprue map. More sprue maps, so you can see already there are a lot of sprues in this one, but you have 10 of those, 10 of those, so yeah, well that accumulates of course in the numbers. And uh, the start with a, the bottom hole, all the parts for the uh, axles, for a better word, go on. It's a very bare hole. It's nothing is molded on except for the hatch, so to speak. You have to drill some holes out, as you can see here, in the front. And the, uh, color. Yeah, how do you want to call these? No clue, to be honest. They hold the uh, torsion bars and they go in there. So you can see here. A whole lot of work, all small parts to go in here. And I think you can choose. Yeah, it says here as well. We can saw it here again. I don't know if the camera picks up, it's pretty small. But you can choose between the long one, the long bar, and the short bar. And as it says here, used part THC, or C, that's that one, the short one, only for fixed torsion bars. So if you use those, you, you fix the suspension in place. If you use the long ones, you've got movable suspension, which is a good thing if you have workable tracks. And I know, I don't know if these clicks are, are clicked together, but I think these are just single link tracks. I will know in a minute. Parts on the front here, 
on the hedge on the bottom. Next step is more parts. More parts. This is the inside. I'm gonna drill some holes of S18. Oh, the, you built the, the top up, so this is S18 drill. Couple of holes again. Step five, so this is also S18. They put some stuff all around the outside. Extra, extra hole for interior detailing. And you get more stuff. Sides go on the lower hole. Firewall goes in. This is basically building it up for the interior version because you got this one as an interior version as well. You will see, and I, I, thought, I caught him on a little mistake on the uh, in instructions. You'll see that in a minute. Uh, building up the wheels, multiple layers. This is the headlights, including the protection brackets. Here you can see it's the deflector, that wooden plank. Wheels go on, all kinds of stuff. And again, you can see here you got a the pack that goes in before the the, the yeah well the hubcap so to speak. So the wheels are movable also. So it's all movable so far if you want. You can just glue it down of course. Uh, the upper glaciers goes on. This is again whole lot of drilling be careful if you get the right holes because you got a lot of options to drill here and this I'm guessing this is the back plate yeah this is one of the uh, fuel drum holders here's the other one some PE work here as you can see on the fuel drum holder more drilling work here and uh, the upper plate goes on idler goes on here engine deck all the all the lamination is all being done by hand by the looks of it so this will be very detailed all the the hatches for the, the engine deck engine compartment about the stop for the, the doors and the grills and everything go on here the entire engine deck is assembled as you can see the other side, the uh, idler goes on. These are the uh, hatches for the here. Engine access. More grills, copy grills, engine deck. And everything goes on here. External fuel tanks go on and being placed on the Mudguard, fender, whatever you want to call it. Uh, position of detail M11 only for a night operation mode. What's M11? Okay, this is M11. If you put this in, it's a nice op night operation mode. So if you leave it, you don't have to put this. Or you can, but don't use it, I don't know. Uh, storage boxes goes on here, or what? Front fender, a lot of PE on the inside. There's a lot of detail on this one. Very, a lot of detail. More PE bending here and there, as you can see. These are the fuel lines that go around the outside. This one is very, very detailed. To be honest, because I, I just built the Tacom T55 and that's not as detailed as this one. Nowhere near as detailed as this one. The other side, spare track link, spacers, tools, box, toolboxes. Again here a lot of small parts around the uh, Towing cables, towing hook eyes, towing cables being placed here. Here you can see how they are uh, locked on the side fender. 
furnace go on. This is the exhaust shroud, and even they, it's in one, two, three, four, five, six parts. So here are the track links. And they do not say I have to glue it, but I don't say I don't have to glue it. I think I just snip a part off when I'm at that part and see if they uh, are click together so they and stay together. Each track link contains uh, each track contains 90 track links. Uh, the unditching lock on the inside, the fuel drums on the back. Starting of the turret here, this is the breech, turret rings, turret bottom lower part, the coax is being built up here in place there, the elevation, arms, this is the breech, <coughs> internals, the little bit of internal you got on this kit, this is for night operations only again, uh, some detailing on the outside, hooks, bars, more hooks and bars. Mm, vision blocks for the commander. Here more small stuff. Sorry, photo edge. Here again, vision blocks going on here. You got two choices. Don't know what the exact. They look completely different. Oh, this is this one you build up completely, and this one is just one piece of plastic. So you can choose which one you like more. But then again, it's closed, so I don't know how much you can see of it being placed. Uh, again, big as searchlight. And again, here you can choose between M12 and P85. P85 is for night operation mode only. Again, if you choose for this, you have to put all the other night operations parts in as well. Uh, more placing of small parts on the inside, on the hatches, the commander's hatch, this is one of the hatch, this is one of the upper turret parts, hatches go in, again working suspension in detailing here, more detailing of the upper hatches, hatch plates are put next to together, glued together, the machine gun is put together, and all kinds of small stuff here detailing the ammo goes on. This is how it's supposed to look from the front. The DSHK detailing here. This is again for night operations. You have to choose yes or no and put it on. Uh, it looks like to be a one-piece barrel, so that's a good thing. And the turret is being put together here. Upper the Hatch, hatches part, the upper hole, lower hole going on. This is the mantle, it's being detailed here with the search light. Here's a little ring on the front. Uh, I have to choose between one or the other, and then you have to see step 59. Okay, we're almost there. And this is where they made a little bit of a mistake. See here, this turret has an in entire interior, the complete interior, as you can see there in the picture. So they just copy pasted it from a different instruction booklet. <gasps> Naughty mini art. That's uh, just job goes on the back. But the cool thing is now you can see how the entire, you have a little of a glimpse of how the in interior of the interior kit looks like. That's a cool thing. More parts on the front of the gun mantlet. So this is step 59, 50, okay, uh, yeah, so, okay, so either you put, oh, that, I'm guessing that's something of a, uh, when you go submerge with the tank for the driver, uh, if you do not want to go submerge, you put 59 in the flat position, so you put this one, take this one, so it lying down, and you put it on the back of the stash here. But if you want to go like they weren't deep waiting, you build this one up, this standing one, 
and you put it on the driver's hatch. You can see here. But that's cool. So that's the entire instructions. Then you got here another color call out. Uh, winter camouflage intended for doing conduct of hostilities in the 50s and 60s. And this one is color option for the parade of the guard units in the Soviet Army in the 50s and the 60s. And this one is the second half of the 50s. And this is the second guard's Taman motorized rifle division Soviet Army of the 60s. So you got some options there. And I'm checking if they can see anyone with the no, they all have the uh, diving thingy tied to the back. Yeah, they all have it tied to the back, as you can see. So that's a shame. I would have liked to see one with where it's placed in there. But okay. So far the instructions, and we've already been 15 minutes in. So that says a lot. But okay, I'm going to show you these again first, because just oh, I like this. The photo edge. There's a lot of it. can see one second <coughs> now we'll go ahead and see the rest of the there's a lot so let's start with these because these are mostly the same and I've done that in a heartbeat. It's a really crack. Ah, this knife is sharp and I didn't have to put that one. So these are all the same. So I'm going to just going to take one out and put it. This one's. And then I reviewed this entire package in once. Okay. This is the first that I've done 15 sprues, 50 sprues. Uh, I'm going to start with doing these, just for a test. See if I can do this without cleaning, cleaning them properly. Just a sh fast short test to see if they're stick together or glue together. And if they're stick together it will be best because you got a workable suspension if you want and a workable wheels. So and well there are no points and they probably stick together because they're not cleaned very well. You have to glue those. So. They fit good to well. I need to clean them a bit, of course. I haven't done it at all now, but oh, I'm just going to show you the detailing of the. There's a lot of detail in here. Oh shit! There are actually letters in there. Wow. So. These are detailed. Wow. You can see I, I haven't cleaned them at all, but even now they fit. And they are still removable as you can see, but the detail in here. That's that's brilliant. And they look very good. On the inside, just turn me around. They are very smooth. Again, you can see I haven't cleaned them up at all, so. But the outside, this just looks really good. Now those are the tracks. These are the wheels, the uh, swing arms, the to uh, torsion bars. This is the pack you put in there and do not glue it. But you glue this one over it, so the wheels will still be movable. And this is just one set. You need this for one wheel. So that's why you got a lot of these. And again, the detail on these is so incredible. 
Yeah, this looks very, very good. There, are the the welding detail there in, inside of the hub. It's just the detailing on the on the rubber. Yeah, the hub cap. Oh, let's turn that around. You can choose. And there's the pack. So yeah, this is brilliant. Like done. Uh, put this back. Take this out. So that's the first part of the. That's the that's the quickest I've done that lot. Let's take the big parts first. Nope. There are more in here than I thought. They put this in here loose. Probably protect this. This is all bent to shape already. So I'm gonna put this on the side. Start with the smaller ones first and get here in a later stage. This is here. They put it just loose in the packaging. This is not really helpful, of course. You kind of need to wrap it around. But okay, that's the way they want it to do. Uh, two tone cables, only need one. Idlers and the sprocket, so I only need one. And these are all packs, I only need one. Well, that helps a lot. Towing cable, not firm, but still plastic. A lot of cleanup because there are a lot of gates. But still, the wire looks good. You can see. Nicely done. The idler and the sprocket. Detailing on this one is also very nicely done. You see, and here's a little cover. So those are those, we've got this one, those are the parts of the swing arms I think. Oh, there's not a lot to see here. These are all, you need to glue those together. Also done. Uh, we got two other small ones as well, three other small ones, let's pick those first. And two, three, again all the same. So. Put two aside, pick the third, and the uh, side of the turret. This is from the uh, suspension parts. These are the shorter packs if you want to uh, shut down the workable suspension. Oh, this is a very small hook. There's looks very sharp, everything, but there will be this is especially these things here will be uh, how to clean up. And the detail is very sharp. Indeed, these are the shorter packs to, to make the suspension not workable. And here is a very, very, very small hook. You can see. So that's very, very, very interesting. Here we got the lower part of the turret, turret ring part with just a few teeth here. The barrel, which is opened on the outside, just not very far. So you might want to. No, it's almost nothing. It's. Oh, that's only this far. This far they opened it, so you might might want to redo that again. So one second. And this is the top of the hatches, and this 
side here, the little high part is a very, very, very nice textured piece of plastic. The uh, weld seam here is very nicely done. You got the fuel lines between the external fuel tanks on the sides, the gun breech, part for the turret, one of the hatches with uh, not as much detail on the inside. I just saw this third part here that has detail on the inside, which is strange. But all in all, there's some detailing here underneath. Looks good. A whole lot is going on on this pair of screw. So, I'm going to just like this one. This is the engine deck part. There's the part of the bridge, all small kinds there. Here's the, let's see if I can get this in a better shot. You see the side there. How the, the texture of that. And then there on the edge. The weld seam. Fuel tanks. All kinds of small stuff there. The ring with the teeth. Lower hole for turrets, kind of stuff, and then there's uh, where are we? Uh, I'm lost. Oh, there it is. Sorry, these are the fuel lines. There will be a pick to clean up if you see all those connection points. But I'm guessing they, if they got clean and in one piece, here's the two barrels. You can see it's open. If you get those lines off in one piece, they will look brilliant. I'm guessing that this was where this is for. But instead of just doing it like this, which they did, I'm guessing you're better off doing it like this to really protect it. So, and then I'm just going to take a bit of this because I do not want to break it. Yeah, I'm just going to stick this together. I'm sure it will, won't get damaged. Yes, this will lengthen the review a bit, but I know myself, if I don't do it now, I will forget about it. And then I will damage the parts, so... Simple, quick solution, but well, it works, what it's needed to do. It keeps the protecting on its on spot. The lower hole engine grill placement, the lower part of the... Uh, turret ring, engine deck, uh, the second part of the roof cupola, the turret with a very nice texturing, the turret bottom or the top upper plate exactly, uh, more like the spare parts, bin, few ports for the commander's cupola. So there's a lot of stuff you can place inside this turret, so I'm guessing this is the same part as you're going to use for the interior, uh, the one with interior. There's a lot of detailing here on the side of the turret as well, the cupola. The texture is very nice. There's a lot of texturing here on the uh, yeah, I can't remember the name now at this moment, sorry. I draw a blank now. Not the breach. Mantlet. This is the mantlet. There's a lot of texturing on there as well. Nice detailing here on the part of the engine deck. There's a lot of detailing going on, on here on the turret ring. This is where the... I don't know if this turret has a basket on the, in, in the inside to be honest. I don't think it has. Again, here the same texturing as on the other sprue. This looks good. Let's see if I can show you close up the texture of the turret. Oh, the camera picks it up. There's the weld seams. They are very nice. I got 
the low part, here's the other third part again. Uh, I can see what I'm doing. There it is. You see there? And then there's the uh, mantlet. Again with the same. You can see picturing. Got the tool bin, the part of the engine deck. Here's the lower hole, the outside, the underside, the lower hole. See, there is there is not a lot going on on the inside. Uh, yeah, this is the third ring. You can see there's a lot of spots there for detailing it. And there's the third again. So, yeah, this is the... You can see here there's a lot going on on the inside of the... Bath tubby for interior parts. Put this back. Uh, I'll sort that out later. The second bag with all the kinds of goodies. So this is see if we got some tickets here. There's a whole lot of stuff going on. Let's sort it out. These are doubles, that are doubles. A whole lot of spruce. Let's see. These are doubles, triples, quadruples. So yeah, we're not done yet. <laughs> These are doubles. No, they're not. These are doubles. Oh, yes, they are. Triples. Quadruples as well. So yeah, I'm gonna head these. I'm gonna put this on the side again. So this is an ammo box for the uh, machine gun on top, and that's basically it already. We got double of these, so put one aside. This is a fuel tank, shovel, and all kinds of small stuff, which I cannot. This is from the front on the glacier's plate, and I cannot really say what the rest is for at the moment. Some kind of tie downs. So. You see the detailing. This is the other side with the, with the bolts, and you can see the bolts are shaped very nicely. And the other side of the shovel, you got a little detail in there as well. So that looks good. Got two of those. Got two of these. I'll put them on the side. It's, the, it's an idle, a sprocket, some arms, covers. That's it basically. There's some cleanup required for the idlers. And sprocket wheel, not so much. There's a lot of cleanup for these idlers, to be honest. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> That's not really bad. Detailing again is very nicely done. And I have to be honest, uh, this being a uh, old Soviet, just post, uh, post World War One, two, pre Cold Warish. Uh, just the beginning of Cold War, Soviet tank, they didn't really care about the uh, finesse of how they looked. They were rough. And, and this is kind of, you need to clean up these. And they clean up pretty easy because I just put it off like this. Because you have to glue them in there. So you have to some clean up here. And this one's the same. And I cannot get it okay that you need to really clean it up. I'll give you a close up. 
Some rings, idlers. And as you can see there, you need to clean these parts up because they'll connect, of course. And especially here, you can still there's pretty much a lot there. Let's turn these around so you can see the idler and the sprocket from the other side. Oh, these as well. The detail and those are great. Those rings and yeah, the but those that's fit in it. Those will fit also very good, I guess. So that's that again. I uh, got four of these. So I put three on the side. Uh, yeah, some stops. That's basically it. Some pointy things, so I'm just gonna put it on my hand. Again, so there's some cleanup required on these. And that one has two sides. So that's that. Then we got four of these. I'll put three on the side. Uh, yeah, more of those top basically, which we've seen before. You can see the other side requires again some cleanup. And there's some small stuff up here. And then we got one of this is a hatch of some kind, I don't know for sure. Again, small fin wiry parts. This is the deflector on the front. Lighting. <coughs> Sorry. And go be terrible to get off the spruce, but if you get it in one piece, they will look very good. And there's the bigger part. Showing you these these small spruce is a lot easier than taking those big ones. And uh, this is a ooh, one part, almost one. The, well, the round part is one part, so you got that bottom and the top you have to glue on, but the mo of the fuel drum is one part, that's good. It, it eliminates a seam. The uh, bottom and top with some nice detailing on there. The holders for the fuel tanks. Towing arc, hooks, and all kinds of small stuff. It looks That's nice that they put this one in one piece, the barrel. And there's, you can see there, the detailing on the bottom and the top, or the sides, just what you want to see. There's the one part barrel, you can see there, nice and round. And some more small parts, a lot of small parts. And then a small sprue. Um, oh, this is the same, so we had to double that one, so it can go outside as well. This is the machine gun that goes on the top. Also a lot of parts to this one. So the individual parts look good. It's just gonna wait how it sees when you put it all together. See here. Here in the middle is the machine gun. Cooling ribs and everything. Oh, come on, zoom in. Uh, focus, rather. Ammo belt, fat ammo belt. Yep. Yeah. Another small one done. This is. Looks like parts of a light, to be honest. But I'm not completely sure. These are all kinds of small stuffs. So, can't really tell what this is all. Looks like part of the light, but also part of the viewing thingy inside of the commander's hatch. And the instructions at viewing thingy looks like, like a periscope, but I don't know how that works in the T-54. Another small sprue then. Uh, the bigger sprues. 
Uh, <coughs> we're almost say part of the breach, part of the uh, exhaust sides. Another ring, another ring, another gun. Okay, so we got gun, two guns. Probably one T54. The other one is T55. This is the T54, I think. I think that's the smooth one. Yeah, the smooth one is T54. And this one is drawn out as well. T55 is a little thickening on the outside, on the on the end, the barrel. The unditching lock with a very, very nice wood texture. Even the uh, imp imperfections of the wood are in here, so that's very nicely done. The sides of the interior walls. Yeah, it looks good. So actually you can make this in a T55 as well if you want. Just, you can see you can see the wood grain and the imperfections in the wood. That just brilliantly done. There's this one of the sides next to the gun. And again this gun is also drilled out as you can see. That's good. And some small stuffs here in the bottom. I'm actually curious where if I can see find the other gun. Yeah, that it has that, uh, that bulge on the end. But this is the T54. The other one I showed you earlier is the T55. And another sprue with another uh, cover for the uh, mantlet. Which I don't think you want to use if you saw the mantle before, or you have to, I don't know. These are parts that go around the engine grills on the engine deck. Again, a lot of points connected. Fuel tank small, driver's hatch, search light, all kind of parts, more parts of the uh, exhaust. Another hatch, all in all, then this is the dust cover or the fabric cover, that's what I meant, and that looks good again. See. All kinds of detailing, there's the cover, hope it's with the Sewn seams. There are the parts for the uh, engine deck. Again, you see how many points of connection that has. And all the small little things. And this is one big sprue. These are the sides of the hole. The uh, mud guards. This is seems to be the firewall for the inside. This is the stash package on the back. These are the mud flaps on the front. This is the deep weighting thing for the driver's hatch. This is the deep weighting thing that goes on driver's hatch on the back. If you don't need it or want to use it. This is a machine gun. And all in all there is a lot of small stuff again on this one. A little bit bent. Oh, don't break it off. Well, there's a lot of detail on the, the texturing of the see, a duffel bag, sleeping bag, pouch thingy here on the back. It's very nice. Let me show you. And again, on the de deep waiting part as well. This is this is the deep waiting viewer for the driver. Uh, here are the mud flaps on the front. This is one of the all the small parts. This is one of the sides. There will be the outside. This is the other one. There's the pack. It goes on the back. Sorry. There's the extra machine gun. All its detailing. So, oh, this is the firewall, I forgot to show you that one I think, but you won't be able to see a lot of it because you most likely won't 
place is opened because there's not real further into detailing. Uh, these are two separate sprues. I'm just. Yeah, I'm gonna leave them together. Why not? No, I'm gonna cut them off. It's easier to show. So, put this aside. Mud flaps, rear front, engine deck grills, open. Uh, no clue. This is also either firewall or the, could be the upper glacius. This though, I haven't seen that one. So it could be that this is the upper glacius. These are for the sides, for the turret. A box, a, a saw, and detailing is very nice. Molding is very nice, inside and out. And here. And then there, there's mud flaps, and I just turn it around so you can see the inside. There are some ejector pin marks on the inside, but they're mud flaps, so there's mud. Right, and there are loads of small parts again, plastic PE. A whole lot of food for the cop monster. Well, this one's done as well. And the last plastic screw, we only have to clear parts and four uh, decals. So, transmission covers, all kinds of spacers and guards and oh, small, small stuff. It looks all very nicely done. There's a, again a lot of connection point to those fins, fin parts here, which I'm afraid will easily break. And we'll see about that. And of course, this is no part. So again, everything looks very, very nice, very finely detailed. Let's start with these, the, the big monsters. And then there are the fine parts, and again, just see how many connection points it has. It will be a nightmare cleaning those off. All the small kinds. That's another fuel tank. All the... That will be... Uh, require a lot of patience when cleaning this one up, that's for sure. The clear parts and the decals. Decals are here. Yeah. They're in register and otherwise not very much to look at because there isn't very much. This is it. So that wasn't in there for a vehicle for a and you see a lot of clear parts. And they all don't really need to be very clear because there are vision blocks and lights for mostly. But they are clear. You can, you can see. These are the clear parts. So, yep, that'd be that. So my first mission now is going to be to see if I can get everything back in that box. Because that box was, you saw it on the start, that box was loaded. Most I got back in already. I just have to see if I can get everything in. Especially those small parts here, just spread them all around. Let's see what happens. I think it's going to make it. Almost there. As you can see, there is a ton of plastic in here. And uh, I'm guessing if you would do the interior kit, you'll get another 10 sprues or so. Just, that's just a guess. I don't know for sure. 
but it all fits again. So, this concludes the review of the Miniar T54B Soviet Medium Tech Early Production in 135th scale with kit number 37019. It's a beautiful kit. Detail wise, wow. Yeah, um, my head's off for Mini Art uh, with these new series of tanks. I don't know what they changed, but yeah, it's wow. It, it's beautiful. The, the, the quality of the plastic, uh, the quality of the moldings, the quality of the uh, texture, everything. It's, it's beautiful. I can't say anything else about it. Um, I can also say nothing about the fit at the moment because I haven't, you know, well, the I haven't built it yet. Um, I don't know when I will be building it because I am close to finishing this one. This is the uh, Tacon one, so it's one in the family. I just almost finished and building a almost identical tank again so right after it. Yeah, well, that's not very good for your mojo, I think. So. I do look forward to building this one, that much is uh, true, and I won't wait that long I'm guessing, but this is a extensive build, this will take me a couple of weeks, months, because I cannot build as fast as most people, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, review, it has a couple of uh, hiccups, but it's what it is. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.